Hi everyone, it's Ernie C3 and welcome to today's video. The addition of Piggy's level builder has been one of their best ideas yet. It encourages creativity and most importantly, it keeps the game alive for a lot longer. But with so much potential for this game mode, I want to see even more things added. So today, I'm going over my top 10 list of things needed in Piggy level builder. Sometimes I want to be able to put an item behind a locked area. That way, of course, when the player gets the key, then they can get the item. However, the problem is, currently in the game, if you want to do that, you have to build an entire room just for that one item. That's why I propose that number 10 should be safes. They're similar to locked doors, but they're much more compact. Plus, I mean, it already exists in the game anyways. As a bonus, they can actually also add as a type of decoration. For example, if you wanted to make a map based off of a bank. Someone go make that map idea. It hasn't been taken yet. I don't think. So far, I've built two Five Nights at Freddy's maps. And when I decided on where I should put the piggy spawner, it was most appropriate to put her on stage. I did this because I wanted Piggy to basically be Freddy Fazbear. But the one thing that does suck is that Freddy Fazbear is not a pig. Except on Pizza Fridays. Just like how you can have different blocks with different themes, I propose number 9 should be custom bot spawners. That way you're able to choose exactly what character you want your bot to be. Of course, in this case for my Five Nights at Freddy's maps, I would have Piggy be Barry from the hospital map. And having many different bots allows you to fit into whatever map theme that you currently have. Seems like it's something that's really simple to add in or change, but it can really affect the game in a positive way. Have you ever played someone's map and noticed that their exit door has a lot of other doors stacked in front of it? Doorception! That's a bit messy, right? I propose we have doors with more locks. For example, the door from house not only has a white lock and the wooden planks on it, but it also has a security code lock and a wrench lock built on top of it. Generally, it's going to make the layout of your map much cleaner and less complicated. And of course, if you want certain keys, like the blue key, the red key, or etc., to only be used once and not have to be brought all the way back over to the exit door, this is also a good option as well. In build mode, there's only two things you need the hammer for. The boarded door and the boarded exit door. I for one would like to see more variety. That's why we need wood barriers, specifically the ones from station and also the boarded vents. It provides more variety and gives more use to the item. I mean, what more do I need to say other than the fact that you definitely won't get bored of this edition. Again, having so many doors in front of another door really stinks, but that doesn't just go for exit doors. For those non-exit doors, keep it simple. Gear locks. Remember those? I mean, they're already in the game, so bring them on over. If you ever need one of your doors to require two keys instead of one, well, that's where both of those gears come in. Even for things like safes, we can make things a little more complex on an appropriate level. What if we combine safes with gear locks? Well, what you would get is chemical vials. Remember how in hospital you needed to fill two different chemical vials, and then once both were full, you had to use both of them near a safe to actually unlock it? Well, I mean, there you go. Bringing more options to the table for building is exactly what Piggy Build Mode should be about. We recently just got soldiers added to piggy build mode. What if we had an NPC that was smarter than a soldier, but stupider than a piggy bot? Well, you would get what I like to call sentient NPCs. If you get close to them, they chase after you. But after a certain distance, they'll go back to where they originally were standing at. Some good candidates for this would be Foxy or Mr. P. Now you're probably wondering, why would we need this? Well, I mean, what if the map maker has a character blocking a certain doorway? Well, then that's actually where something like the gun or the crossbow can actually become a key. One of my favorite maps is Outpost. Why? The tank! That's why! The tank was actually one of my favorite parts of the map. And not only do I think that it should be added, but the missile doors as well. Actually, you know what? What if you can actually control the tank? Now, now hear me out. What if you can actually create a designated invisible track 
for the tank to move across once you give the tank the fuel. This can actually open up some really big possibilities like uh, having tank races. I'm getting excited just talking about it. Something that was always in Granny, the inspiration for Piggy, but was never in Piggy itself, was the concept of having two different exits. In Granny, you either escape through the front door or through the car. Well, it actually just so happens that there is a car in Piggy, Doggy's car. This is not only a good idea as a second escape option and it can provide variety, but it can also fit into any kind of map theme that you're looking for. Something pretty cool to consider adding if you ask me. Now here's you. You're trying your absolute best to finish a custom map. You're memorizing every door and every item placement and you're dodging obstacles left to right. Finally, you make it to the exit door. You unlock it and you head on out and what happens? Nothing. It just gives you the text that just says, you escaped. I think it would be really funny and a really cool idea to add exit cutscenes. Now, of course, I know it's going to be hard to basically animate every single character movement and whatnot, but it can even be something as simple as just having it like a comic book where there's different scenes of the character standing still with text down at the bottom. I think even more creativity can be brought there as well. In fact, you know what? You can also add it to the beginning before you even start the map as well. Something that, that was good I just added right now. Let me know right now in the comment section what you would like in the next Piggy update. Minitune at some point could see this video and you may look in the comments and consider what he should add. That's it, thank you all so much for watching and if you want more quality fun, I'll see you in the next one.